Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like fish sandwich. A Bermuda specialty, the fish sandwich features fried fish fillets served in a bun with lettuce, tomato, and tartar sauce. The fish sandwich is a beloved and iconic dish in Bermuda, known for its delicious combination of fried fish, fresh bread, and flavorful toppings. It's a must-try street food and can be found at various eateries and restaurants across the island. Here's what you can typically expect from a Bermuda fish sandwich. Ingredients. Fish. Grouper or snapper are commonly used for the fish sandwich, but other local fish varieties may also be used. Bread. Fresh and soft white or whole wheat bread rolls are the foundation of the sandwich. Toppings. The sandwich is typically dressed with a variety of toppings, which may include lettuce, tomato slices, and Bermuda onions. Sauce. A key element of the Bermuda fish sandwich is the sauce. Tartar sauce or mayonnaise-based sauces with pickles and spices are often used to add flavor and creaminess. Preparation. Frying the fish. The fish is usually filleted and coated with seasoned flour or batter. It's then deep-fried until it becomes crispy and golden brown. Assembling the sandwich. Once the fish is cooked, it's placed on a fresh bread roll. The sandwich is then assembled with lettuce, tomato slices, and Bermuda onions. Saucing. Generous amounts of tartar sauce or a special sauce blend are spread over the fish to add flavor and moisture. Serving. The fish sandwich is typically served hot and ready to eat. Variations. While the classic Bermuda fish sandwich described above is a favorite, there are some variations you may encounter. Peppers. Some versions include hot peppers or pepper sauce for a spicy kick. Pickles. Some people add pickles or relish to enhance the tangy flavors. Cheese. In some renditions, cheese is melted over the fish for an extra layer of richness. The Bermuda fish sandwich is not only delicious but also a hearty and filling meal that captures the essence of the island's seafood culture. It's often enjoyed at local restaurants, beachside eateries, and even from food trucks, making it a quintessential part of Bermudian cuisine. Shark hash. A traditional Bermudian dish made from shark meat, onions, and spices, often served with peas and rice. Shark hash is a traditional Bermudian dish that showcases the island's culinary heritage and its reliance on seafood. Despite the name, shark hash doesn't typically contain hashed or minced shark meat. Instead, it's a flavorful stew-like dish made with salted codfish, potatoes, onions, and various seasonings. Here's how shark hash is typically prepared. Ingredients. Salted codfish, soaked and desalted. Potatoes, peeled and diced. Onions, finely chopped. Garlic, minced. Thyme leaves. Black pepper. Olive oil or butter. Water or fish stock. Optional. Hot pepper sauce or scotch bonnet peppers for added heat. Instructions. Prepare the salted codfish. Salted codfish is quite salty and needs to be desalted before use. To do this, soak the codfish in cold water for at least 24 hours changing the water several times to remove excess salt. After soaking, the codfish should be soft and less salty. Drain and rinse it thoroughly. Boil the codfish. In a large pot, place the desalted codfish and cover it with water or fish stock. Bring it to a boil and let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the fish is tender and can be easily flaked with a fork. Drain the fish and set it aside. Saute onions and garlic. In a separate large skillet or frying pan, heat olive oil or butter over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and minced garlic. Saute until they become soft and translucent. Add potatoes and codfish. Add the diced potatoes to the skillet with the sauteed onions and garlic. Cook for a few minutes, stirring occasionally. Season and cook. Add thyme leaves, black pepper, and optional hot pepper sauce or scotch bonnet peppers for some heat. Continue to cook the mixture until the potatoes start to brown slightly and become tender. Flake the codfish. While the potatoes are cooking, flake the boiled codfish into small pieces. Combine and cook. Add the flaked codfish to the skillet with the potatoes and onions. Stir to combine all the ingredients. Cook for a few more minutes until everything is well heated and the flavors meld together. Serve hot. Shark hash is typically served hot as a main dish. It can be enjoyed on its own or with side dishes like avocado, banana, or bread. Shark hash is a comforting and hearty Bermudian dish that showcases the island's maritime heritage. It's a flavorful combination of salted codfish, potatoes, and aromatic seasonings that's enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. Bermuda Breakfast 
Try a traditional Bermudian breakfast with codfish and potatoes, served with avocado and banana. Bermuda breakfast, often referred to as a traditional Bermudian breakfast, is a hearty and flavorful morning meal that combines various ingredients to create a satisfying start to the day. This breakfast typically includes a combination of codfish and potatoes, often served with avocado and banana. Here's how a Bermuda breakfast is traditionally prepared. Ingredients Salted codfish Salted codfish is a key component of a Bermuda breakfast. It's soaked and desalted before cooking to remove excess salt. Potatoes. Potatoes are peeled and diced to be cooked alongside the codfish. Onions. Onions are finely chopped and sautéed to add flavor to the dish. Garlic. Garlic is often minced and sautéed with the onions for added depth of flavor. Avocado. Ripe avocado is sliced or mashed to serve as a creamy and nutritious accompaniment. Banana. Ripe banana is sliced and served alongside the other components, adding a natural sweetness to the meal. Optional seasonings. Some variations of Bermuda breakfast may include seasonings like thyme, black pepper, and hot pepper sauce for added flavor. Instructions. Prepare the salted codfish. Soak the salted codfish in cold water for at least 24 hours, changing the water several times to remove excess salt. After soaking, the codfish should be soft and less salty. Drain and rinse it thoroughly. Boil the codfish and potatoes. In a large pot, place the desalted codfish and diced potatoes. Cover them with water and bring to a boil. Simmer until the codfish is tender and the potatoes are cooked through. This typically takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Drain the fish and potatoes. Saute onions and garlic. In a separate skillet or frying pan, heat some olive oil or butter over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and minced garlic. Saute until they become soft and translucent. Combine ingredients. Add the boiled codfish and potatoes to the skillet with the sautéed onions and garlic. Mix everything together, allowing the flavors to meld. You can add optional seasonings like thyme and black pepper at this stage. Serve hot. Bermuda breakfast is traditionally served hot. It's typically plated with a portion of the codfish and potatoes, alongside slices of avocado and banana. Enjoy. Bermudian breakfast is a unique and flavorful combination of savory and sweet elements. The creamy avocado and sweet banana complement the savory codfish and potatoes, creating a delightful breakfast experience. Plantains. Fried or baked plantains are a popular side dish and snack. Plantains are a staple food in many tropical regions, including Bermuda. They are a type of banana, but unlike the sweet dessert bananas, plantains are typically larger and starchier. They are a versatile ingredient used in a variety of culinary applications and can be enjoyed at various stages of ripeness. Here's how plantains are commonly prepared in Bermuda. Fried ripe plantains. Select ripe plantains. Ripe plantains are yellow with some black or brown spots on the skin. They should be firm but yielding to the touch. Peel and slice. To prepare ripe plantains, start by peeling them. Cut off the ends, make a lengthwise slit in the skin, and carefully peel it away. Slice the plantains into rounds or diagonally for larger pieces. Heat oil. Heat a frying pan or skillet with vegetable oil over medium-high heat. The oil should be hot but not smoking. Fry plantains. Carefully place the plantain slices in the hot oil. Fry them until they become golden brown and slightly caramelized, which usually takes 2 to 3 minutes per side. Drain and serve. Use a slotted spoon to remove the fried plantains from the oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels to remove excess oil. Sprinkle them with a pinch of salt if desired. Fried ripe plantains are typically served hot and are slightly sweet with a crispy exterior. Tostones, fried green plantains. Select green plantains. For tostones, you'll want green, unripe plantains. They should have green skins and feel firm. Peel and slice. Peel the green plantains by cutting off the ends and making a lengthwise slit in the skin. Remove the skin and cut the plantains into thick rounds. Fry plantains twice. Heat vegetable oil in a pan or skillet over medium-high heat. Fry the plantain rounds until they are lightly golden on both sides, about 2 to 3 minutes per side. Remove them and place them on a paper towel lined plate. Flatten and refree. After the first frying, use the bottom of a glass or a tostanera, a specialized press, to flatten each plantain round into a disc. Then, return them to the hot oil and fry until they become crispy and golden brown. Drain and serve. 
remove the tostones from the oil, drain them on paper towels, and season with salt. Tostones are typically served hot and are enjoyed for their savory and crispy texture. Hot Cross Buns A sweet, spiced bun often enjoyed during Easter but available year-round. Hot cross buns are a type of sweet, spiced bun that is traditionally associated with Easter in many countries, including Bermuda. These buns are known for their distinctive appearance, marked with a white cross on the top, which is typically made with icing or a flour paste. Hot cross buns are enjoyed not only during Easter but also throughout the year. Here's how they are commonly prepared. Ingredients For the buns, 4 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 half cup of sugar, 1 packet of active dry yeast, about 2 and a quarter teaspoons, 1 half teaspoon of salt, 1 half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, 1 quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, 1 quarter teaspoon of ground allspice, 1 quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, 1 half cup of warm milk, 1 half cup of warm water, 1 quarter cup of unsalted butter, softened, 2 large eggs, 1 half cup of currants or raisins, Zest of one orange or lemon, optional. For the cross and glaze. One half cup of all-purpose flour. One half cup of water. One quarter cup of apricot jam or fruit preserves, for glaze. Instructions. Proof the yeast. In a small bowl, combine the warm water, warm milk, and a pinch of sugar. Sprinkle the yeast over the mixture and let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes, or until it becomes frothy. Mix dry ingredients. In a large mixing bowl, combine the flour, sugar, salt, and spices. If desired, add the citrus zest. Combine wet ingredients. In a separate bowl, whisk the eggs and then add the softened butter. Pour in the yeast mixture and mix until well combined. Knead the dough. Gradually add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and mix until a dough forms. Turn the dough out onto a floured surface and knead it for about 10 minutes, or until it becomes smooth and elastic. Incorporate the currants or raisins during kneading. First rise. Place the dough in a greased bowl, cover it with a clean cloth, and let it rise in a warm, draft-free place for about 1 to 1.5 hours, or until it has doubled in size. Shape the buns. Punch down the risen dough and divide it into 12 equal portions. Shape each portion into a bun and place them on a greased baking sheet, spaced apart. Second rise. Cover the buns with a clean cloth and let them rise again for about 30 to 45 minutes, or until they have doubled in size. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius.